five real reasons why men respond to distance in love. In this video, you will discover the real reasons so that you don't have to doubt, question yourself and make yourself crazy while he's not responding to you. Now, of course, if you are ready to know, to find you know how to keep him invested, like keep watching as well and comment with I'm ready below in the comment section. I'm of course Antje Boyd, founder and creator of the Magnetize Your Man Method and this is the channel where we magnetize your man so that the man that you desire pursues and loves you forever. Now of course if you like anything in this video, what I wear, my jewelry, my background and of course hello the content, give it a like. I would appreciate that and also don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell as well and let us know hello in the comment section that you have subscribed so we can welcome you and of course share it with your girlfriends that you feel is really helpful with maybe the kind of girlfriend that has that same question over and over again so let's go ahead and to dive into the five real reasons why men respond to distance number five is it creates a ton of tension. So what you want to be aware of, so there is like, there is like uh, two parts to us, right? There's like the parts to us that want space. And then there's also parts to us that wants connection and intimacy. And so when you have that right dance, it creates tension. It creates tension between the two of you. It creates tension inside of himself, right? He actually feels the tension, right? He actually feels like, you know what? I actually don't know what's going on right now, right? I'm not in, in incredible proximity to her. So it keeps you guys magnetic. You know, there's like one uh, research study that was done where two magnets, they were magnetic to each other, right? Were actually put into the same drawer next to each other. And guess what? Next thing you know, they no longer were magnetized to each other, attracted to each other, but rather almost repelled. So in other words, the polarity neutralized. So that's the opposite of tension. What you actually want to look at is, wow, okay, so you want to maintain the tension. And the tension really consisting of, I don't know what the other person is going to say next. I don't know what the other person is going to think next. But consisting of a lot of uncertainty right? But that uncertainty is also a lot of possibility that of course swirls around in the man's mind. Number four, this is one of my favorites, is like he gets to check in with his archetypes. So a man has six different energies inside of himself, let's say six, six main ones, okay? And when he's with you, he gets to check in maybe with a couple, because that's when they show up, right? Like maybe the lover or maybe the wild man or maybe maybe the wild man, maybe not even so much that, right? Um, maybe the little boy, playful. But there's going to be other parts inside of him that he can only access when he has distance. So when he has that ability to access the other archetypes inside of himself, that actually means that he can grow that, that he's actually a healthy individual, that he actually can practice integrity, that he can actually be true to himself, which of course then increases also the safety, the curiosity towards yourself and it maintains the variety in the relationship. If he never gets to check in with his other archetypes, the relationship is flatlining, right? It's plateauing because he's always interacting with the same archetypes and you also interact with the same archetypes inside of him and also the same archetypes are bring, being brought out inside of you. So you don't want that to happen. What you want is actually like variety, difference, innovation, creativity, growth. So that's what the distance will help you accomplish. Now comment below, love to hear where are you from, watching from of course country or state. Now, number three is a little bit more obvious. He can actually miss you, right? So all those love songs, they're written based on men missing women, 
right? Again, that's like this yearning energy. And the reason why you want him to miss you is because when he acts from a place of conviction, he actually really pursues you. He's actually really interested. He's actually really invested. If he acts from a place of, let's say, obligation, not because necessary because he misses you, right? Those are the moments when you start to feel, you know, for granted. He's not really that excited about you because he didn't really get to check in with himself. Am I actually motivated enough to pursue this woman, right? Like, and, and here's, the, here's the thing too. Men actually, you know, they get connected with you, obviously, but they fall in love in the absence of you. So how in the world is this man supposed to fall in love with you? It's definitely true when my husband met me and he actually told me, um, that he has feelings of love for me that he discovered when he was not with me, right? And it has something to do that the nervous system doesn't feel safe to process in the pro presence of another person because we have mirror, neur neur mirror neurons, right? So we like mirror each other's nervous system. So we have to have the ability to come back into our own nervous system, feeling our own sovereignty, feeling our own independence. How does my energy feel? How does my emotions feel? How, how does everything feel? And then once I do that, then I can actually say, this is true for me, right? I miss this person. So that's why it's so important. And that leads me, of course, to number two, he feels safe, right? And this has also a lot to do with, like I said before, the ever oscillating nervous system, right? The nervous system needs space and it also needs connection, right? It needs connection to feel safe, but it also needs space to feel safe, right? It needs to have space to metabolize, to digest. So imagine this, if you just ate 24 seven, let's say you're together 24 seven, and I've seen this with couples all the time, right? And you go out together, you, you spend weekends together, it's as if you're stuffing yourself day and night, day and night, day and night, day and night. And guess what? Nothing gets to ever be digested. Nothing ever gets to be broken down. Nothing ever gets to be assimilated. It just goes into the next, into the next, into the next, into the next, until one, one of you is going to throw up, right? And usually that's then that moment when somebody needs distance, when somebody like pulls out, when somebody's like, I, and, you know, I need some space, right? I need to focus on my business now. I, um, I don't know if this is the right thing. It's because it was way too much for the nervous system. It could not take in everything right away. And it just simply didn't feel safe because it's not sustainable. So the m reason why men respond to distance is because that actually signals to their brain, oh, this is actually sustainable, right? I can actually have connection with my person, with my partner, with my wife, with, with my fiance, but I can also disconnect, right? So I have choice, right? If I don't have choice, if I don't have agency, if I don't have individual expression, that's, really, that's when it gets scary. That's when it doesn't feel safe. So keep that in mind. So if you like this content that you heard so far, of course, comment, like, subscribe, all of the above. And of course, number one is cliffhanger. And you've heard me say that before. And it bears repeating, right? The cliffhanger effect. Now it comes to an effect. You can even use that in online dating. You're not finishing sentences. You're maintaining open loops. You're creating space. And the man will hang on every word that you share. He's going to treasure you so much more, right? Because he, he, he wants to know what's next. What is she saying next? What's happening next? So same with distance, right? Like when you have distance, there's a cliffhanger because he doesn't know where you are. He doesn't know what you're doing. Are you still single? Are you seeing other guys? Are you thinking about him? Remember, there's all this room now for him to actually go back to his own brain and have his own thoughts and his own questions that you want him to have, 
right? You want them to wonder what's happening, what's happening, what's not happening. Um, is she still interested? Let me check back in. Let me create some certainty. Okay. So before I share my bonus secret, comment below which of the points are eye opening to you. Now, along with that feeling safe, that theme of feeling safe is secure attachment, right? And this is actually really important because again, we are mirroring to each other. So when I encountered my husband who has a secure attachment style, he's a secure nervous system. I actually felt like I could allow myself to be seen in any way, shape or form. I knew that he was the rock. I knew that he was grounded, that he was rooted and that I didn't have to hide that I didn't, that I wasn't too big or too bright or too much or not enough, right? Or whatever the case may be, I knew unconsciously that he can hold that. Now the same is true for men. If you have distance, if you maintain distance towards that man in a healthy way, of course, it also signals to him, Oh, I can disconnect and reconnect and disconnect and reconnect. Like it's actually safe. I can actually do that and I can be all of who I am. There's no projection, but I have the freedom to come back as a new version of myself. Now that's of course much more unconscious than you would ever imagine, right? For him to actually be able to come back as a new version of himself. But really think about this. When you have a secure attachment style, he actually gets to reinvent himself every single time. And his fear of losing his freedom, his fear of being controlled or trapped is going to go away because he knows he can come back as a different person and you're not going to freak out and you're not going to project anything onto him. So that's, that's a little bit towards that. So if you want to learn a little bit more about how to attract the right man for you into your life, hop on over to mymquiz.com. And of course, if you haven't watched this video already, when the man deeply loves you, he will start saying these five things. Lots of love. And I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye.